All right, so now that we have our USB settled, um, we now need to install the USB onto the computer itself, obviously. So now, go ahead and turn on your computer, and then access the BIOS of your computer. So, um, everyone is different. For my computer, I, I click Escape to get to the BIOS, but it might be different from yours. Now, next, go into the BIOS. So for mine, I go to this thing called SU, and head over to Boot, and turn off Windows 8 Fast Boot, or whatever it's called. So it's, it, it'll either be called like Secure Boot, or Fast Boot, or something like that. Just make sure you go and uh, turn it off. And then if you have this thing called USB, USB boot in your BIOS, make sure it's enabled so, so that we can install um, the OS from the USB. So make sure USB boot is enabled and um, Windows 8 fast boot is disabled or secure boot, whatever it's called. And so once it's done, go ahead and press F10 to save and exit and click yes. Then now go ahead and get into your boot manager, to your, into the, uh, yeah, the boot manager of your computer. So for me, once again, I press escape and go to boot manager. This is different from everyone. Just might be F12, F11, delete, um, yeah, and so on and so forth. So make sure you find out for your own computer how it's done. Now go into boot manager and select EFI USB device. I'm just trying to move in a bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. EFI USB device generic flash disk. Hit enter and you go into the grub menu, which is over here. There'll be four options here. Which the one you select is the first one, which says try Ubuntu without installing. So hit try Ubuntu without installing and it will start to load. Now this is extremely important, you have to choose try instead of install Ubuntu and I'll explain why later. So this will take a while to load and we'll be right back. Alright, so Ubuntu is loaded up, we're done, you've installed Ubuntu, good job. No, I'm just kidding, but okay, so now that we're in the um, live version of Ubuntu in which you try you know, out the, uh, the setup, just ignore everything that's going on and go ahead and click install Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. So let me try to go in here. Yep, so just double click it to install it from this you know, uh, screen. Alright, so once the install screen is open up, just click English or whatever language you want. Hit continue. And basically, basically just run through the entire thing. So I'm not going to connect to Wi-Fi right now. Uh, but you do have to have a connection, um, internet connection, that's quite important. So just keep in mind that you need to have in internet connection later on, but not now. So I'm just going to click continue and stuff. And this thing would most likely pop up, it says error, F syncing, closing, whatever. Just click ignore and the um, installation will continue on. Um, now I'm just going to hit yes here and just click. So ignore, then yes, and then the installation will just continue. Alright, at this point, just hit... Um, erase disk and install Ubuntu. I'm not really teaching you guys how to dual boot here, which means using two operating systems on the same computer. So just hit erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will delete everything on your computer, so please make sure that you know what you're doing, you've backed up your files or whatever, or you don't need your files, uh, because this will literally wipe out everything on your computer. And hit continue, and hit install now, and wait for it to load. And then click continue. Just like that. Then you gotta choose your city. Stay in Singapore. Let's spell Singapore. There we go. And then continue. Next you have to choose your keyboard. Just gonna use the English US one. And then you have to type in um, the name and stuff. And then once you're done here, just hit continue. And it will begin to install. So this will take some time, and we'll be right back. Alright, and so we're done with the installation. Now, now this is very important, do not hit restart now or continue testing. So just leave the box here after you're done with the installation. And instead, now connect to your Wi-Fi, uh, wi which is why I said you needed, you needed an internet connection. Alright, and once you're, once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, go over to Firefox, open up Firefox. And now once your Firefox is open up, go over to this link, is.gd slash Bay Thrill Z. So Bay Thrill Z. This will be in the link in the description below. And this is the same link that we went to earlier on in order to get. Okay, I'm just gonna move this installation complete thing out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Go down to where it says Linux Sim 32 bit patch.sh, right? And from here, open up the file and download the file. And so just save it, don't open it with anything, just save the file and click OK. And it'll start to download, it should download in a matter of you know, seconds. And next, hit alternate control T to open up the terminal file. Oh, sorry, uh, to open up the terminal window. So now with terminal with the terminal window opened up, 
Type in CD, which stands for Change Directory. Okay, let me try to zoom in here so that we can all see what we're doing. Right, type in CD, Downloads. So the Change Directory to a Downloads folder, which is what we're doing right now. Now once here, we need to make the file that we downloaded executable. In order to do that, uh, enter chmod 700 and followed by the name of the file. Um, which is linuxium 32 bit dash patch dot sh. So linuxium. Oh, so me. What happened? <laughs> ah, what's happening? Okay. Linuxium dash 32 bit dash patch dot sh. So hit enter, and it should just nothing should happen, right? Next, we need to install it. So go up to this, as in just press the up button to you know to get the file name again. You erase everything here. And this time, um, type in sudo full stop backslash and just the file name. Then hit enter. It's right, take away the 700. What is it? So there. Right, just like that. And hit enter. And it should start to install the file. And so there we go, we're done. Everything is done, everything is installed. We've changed the, um, the boot setup from 64 bit to 32 bit in order to accommodate um, the BHO processor. And so we're all good to go. Just hit restart now. Your computer should restart and it will restart into Ubuntu with everything installed, everything working. Alright, so once you hit restart, you might get you might encounter this error screen which talks which just says uh, squash FS error, blah blah blah, so and so forth. It's fine, nothing is wrong. Just press and hold your on button to force shut your computer, don't worry about it. And force shut your computer and then turn it on again and it boots into Ubuntu, no problem at all. And there we go, welcome to Ubuntu. Fully installed. Fully working. Let me show you the display for my computer's working. You just press Fn and you can see that the brightness is decreasing, the brightness is increasing, and stuff. So fully functioning Ubuntu, Wi-Fi, everything working. Thanks for watching guys and have a nice day.